you know, we got this division. You got to 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 uh share the ring with Charlo. Um, yeah. you know, Arrow uh Crawford mentioned that you know after he finishes uh Spence, yeah. I want to get your opinion on that fight as well. He would like to move up and fight Charlo. How do you see that happening? Like, how would you see that? Who who would you pick? I don't know, man. I want to see how he does with Spence first. Right. Yeah, I want to see how he does with Spence. Um, I don't really have a pick for that one yet. I haven't really picked anybody. If I was leaning towards anybody, it'd probably be uh, it'd probably be Crawford to be honest. I was leaning towards somebody. Uh, I think uh, Spencer. You know, what are you boxer. talking about? Yeah, with Spence, I think he's a he's a he's a great boxer puncher. Um, but Spence is relentless. He's tough, and he can also mix it up with boxing and punching. So, you know, I just want to see how he comes back after the long layoffs and all that type of shit. Um, but yeah. We'll see how that goes. I don't want to really give too much insight on it, too much detail on what I think. I just want to uh, – I'm just a box fan. I just want to watch and see, you know, a great fight. Absolutely. Were you able to share the ring with either of them? I shared the ring with Crawford before. Mm. I sparred him. I sparred him when I was like 7-0 and or some shit. I was, in, I was in Colorado for a while. We shared was- the ring with seven. How great work. Experience? Great work. He um I think he sparred like 15 rounds that day or some shit. You know, he sparred a lot of people. You know, I was just I was I was in there as one of the one of the sparring partners. <clears throat> I was also getting ready for one of my fights, so I was sparring other people too. But me and me and Crawford ended up getting in there. Nice. What does he do that surprised you in the ring that uh you didn't expect? Um, nothing that I didn't expect. You know, I've been in there with all type of fighters, all type of styles. And I just, I think he's great at uh, adjusting. I think he's a good adjuster. He, um, he mixes it up real well. You know, he's a switch hitter as well. You know, just, you're not going to get, you're not going to get the same Crawford every round. Right. You know, he, he's going to switch it up. I mean, if it's working, he'll probably give you the same thing. But if it's working, but um, if it if it ain't working, if it's too competitive, then he'll he'll, he'll switch it up to where he has the upper hand. Um, with that fight with him and Spence, uh, how do you see it playing out? Um, do you believe that it ends in a in a knockout or a decision? I think. I mean, both are possible. Both are possible, but. I feel like it'll go to decision. I feel like it'll go to decision. It'd be 12 hard fought rounds. They're both thinkers. They're both tough, relentless. And it's going to be some high level shit. Right. Right. Do you believe this is one of like when we talk about like some of the best welterweight matchups? Um, do you believe that this is in that top discussion as far as top five, top 10? Yeah, yeah, for a very long time. Yeah, I think so. Um, I can't even think of a welterweight welterweight matchup that's been this anticipated in a long time. Besides Mayweather and Pacquiao, but that probably happened a little too late. I think um, these two are going at it in their prime, and they're giving their fans giving their fans a great matchup. A great matchup, you know, um while we while we're so eager for it and while we're so anxious for it. Right. Um I definitely agree. And then like obviously when it comes to styles, obviously a Mayweather and Pacquiao are completely different. Kinda gives me like a Tito Trinidad and Oscar De La Hoya vibes to be honest. Okay. And you know okay. who's who. You know who's who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I agree. It, if like if you had to like go round by round of how you know because you know you mixed it up with Crawford and stuff like that, um, how would you see like the first couple rounds in the beginning and how you see towards the end of how they would mix it up? 
Um, I don't know, man. I think they're gonna go in there and they're both gonna be. I think I think Spence is great at adjusting too. He's gonna he's gonna adjust if if the first couple of rounds it ain't working. He's gonna switch it up. He's gonna have to. Same thing goes for Crawford. So we'll see how they both come out. I think um. I think Spence has a great jab, so he's going to utilize that early on. Um, but I think Crawford knows that he got a great jab, so he's, you know, going to be trying to be on top of that. Right, right.